horsepower enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. The ultimate destination for custom performance modified cars and bikes. Today we're diving into the heart of power and precision with Andrew and his ground up rebuilt 1971 Holden HQ two door. This beauty isn't just a car, it's a symphony of roaring engine and custom craftsmanship. Let's get started. Thanks for being with us today. Let's kick things off. What inspired you to embark on the journey of a ground up rebuild for your 1971 Holden HQ? And how did the vision for this custom masterpiece come to life? It's a very good question. And it's all about uh, not knowing how much money you're gonna throw at something. <laughs> no, I had, I had a, a HQ two door uh, many, many years ago and, and I sold it you know, a different stage of life. Um, kids and family and you know, new house and all sorts of things and I had to sell the car to, to fund a patio of all things so um, keep it away for a while and finally got to the point in life where you know I'm stable enough I've got some things going on in the background so I thought I'll, I'll have a crack at doing another car this time with everything that I wanted so I wanted to go big block this time um, the color similar to the last car as well but um, just every other little piece that I could squeeze in there, I just managed to uh, to factor in. Some things changed along the way. Um, with you know the, the original package of car that we bought, probably wasn't as good as we'd hoped. Um, so there was a lot of money spent on, particularly the body. Uh, wh whoever painted it orange in the first place was obviously a good cake decorator. Some of the bog was <laughs> like thick, thick, yeah. thick, right? Yeah. Um, but overall, you know, in time and with all a lot of people's help, it's it's come together and shaped up to what that is now. So yeah. yeah. Part of this beast lies under the hood. Tell us about the powerhouse. What modifications did you make to achieve that perfect blend of power and performance? <laughs> this always comes back to money as well, <laughs> and a little bit of trial and error. So I um, uh, wanted to go big block. Um, was tossing up between 454 or go 540, not sure, um, but got a good deal on a, a dark big M block anyway. So I thought we'll, we'll go 454 and stroke. Uh, that brought it to 496. Um, again, pretty much put that to some good people to help me make the decisions on what to go inside the car. Um, the first engine didn't last very long, a wrong choice of lifters. Um, so we had a lifter fail, uh, smashed the cam, broke the crank. Um, so that was probably a bit of a wake up call as well. It was far too angry a car to enjoy. You know, I'm like anyone else, give me more and I'll, and I'll have it. Mm -hmm. But when you hop out of the car sweating every time going <laughs> Jesus got away with it right yeah. so you just go no no so, so this one's still quite angry um, but much more streetable and, and again um, just through some good advice to some good people and you know, luckily or not having a little bit of money I can still keep throwing at it um, funny story we, we built this engine put it on dyno and then destroyed two gearboxes on top of it so oh. <laughs> so it just never ends right yeah, yeah? It's, it. it's it's a never-ending thing but um, as it sits now I'm very happy with it yeah. you could 
try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall the aesthetics are just as impressive. How did the custom painting process unfold and what inspired the choice of paint? Um, I had a lot of ideas on what colour I wanted. Um, the same with anything, whether it's bikes or cars. You, you look on the internet and you see a hundred different million pictures on, on what you think is the colour. Um, then you get the colour on a, on a test panel and it doesn't look the same. Um, when we were doing the car, we actually painted the firewall first and left the rest of the car orange while we're doing other bits and pieces and thought yeah that's it that looks that looks pretty good um and then we had to go do some touch-up work and when the guys sprayed it they had actually put the base down differently and it came out darker which is what this is now yeah. and i like I'm, I'm thankful because i like this better oh, the, the other one was a bit too um maroney or it wasn't pink but it was it was much lighter than that um so yeah it's it was more ass than class in the end yeah. um but yeah i'm happy with it it looks you know it looks black and people get surprised when they see it on a different light and they can see the, the candy come through um obviously it's a pain in the neck to keep clean and, um, but when it is clean it looks pretty impressive yeah so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind Can take you so far It's like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives You create thoughts, never waste time You got one shot, you got one life Better pop off, what do you like? Make a dream job, no 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they ski me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me What's it like behind the wheel of this 50 plus year old Holden HQ? How does it handle on the road, especially with the powerful modifications you've made? <laughs> 50 year old, that's probably in my class as well, right? So yeah, um, it's it can be a handful. Um, that being said, like I said earlier, the, the engine now is at a point where you can enjoy it. Um, you can tonk around, you know, if you do a cruise through Fremantle or somewhere like that, it'll idle nicely, it doesn't overheat. Um, it's got power steering and all those things in it anyway, so it's not not, not too much of a handful. Um, the only thing you got to be careful of, if you, if you get clever on the throttle, it'll it'll try and spit you out the window or, or put you in your place straight away. So um, I don't know. I, mean, I guess because a bit older and a bit wiser, try and pick your points where you're going to have a little bit of open throttle fun, and for the rest, just enjoy it. And, and that's the best part of it. You're know, cruising around and seeing people smile and cars and wave and yeah it's that's you can't beat that yeah welcome to my party we're just getting started a life is a dream or a nightmare scarring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a string who can catch me when i'm falling cover up my scars flip the handlebars crashing in my car wake up in a bar i'll be a superstar just on my avatar this world is so bizarre empty out the reservoir yeah i'll take this 
shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm Undertaking a ground-up rebuild surely comes with its challenges. What were the hurdles you faced during this project and how did you overcome them? See, this is a terrible one. You, without naming names, there's a lot of people out there that just take your money yeah. and, and make no bones about it. They will not cover you when it goes bad. Um, you, you soon learn who your friends are and certainly who you can trust. And there's a lot of bad people around, seriously. Um, but at the end of it, you know, I've met some really good people mm -hmm. and, you know, if I was to do another one again, it would be a lot easier. I think it's the same with anything, right? You, you spend a bit of time doing it, but, um, yeah, look, if I was to give anyone ad any advice on that, it would be do your homework and make sure you second check everyone that you're going to be dealing with, particularly if you're leaving parts or things off your car at different workshops because stuff disappears. Don't think I'll get on set So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy Don't think I'll get on set So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? Andrew, it's been an incredible journey exploring the depths of your HQ. Any final words for our viewers? Uh, look, if you can get the chance to do one thing in your life, it's a, if, it's a, if it's a dream, you follow it and do it, right? Um, I'm, I've said to a lot of people for a long time, I'm just lucky. I've you know, worked hard enough to have some money on the side where I can do something like this, and I'm very grateful. Um, and I'd, I'd, look, I'd look to sell it to the right person, someone that could really use it and really wants it. I feel almost it's a, it's a bit of a waste. It sits in my carport until I bring it out for something like this or a mate's you know, daughter's wedding or whatever it might be. But um, still grateful. And, you know, for those opportunities, again, to, to drive around on weekends and go get an ice cream in Frio or wherever you like and, and just yeah, enjoy the moment. Yeah, it's cool. Sometimes you need to let loose, grab juice, get goose, tattoos, taboos, get screwed. Loosen up, buttercup, all those hate comments will never make you feel enough. We're all adequate graduates, hearts full of calluses, but we know calculus. Damn, ain't that fabulous? Can't wait to apply all those mathematicus. But we can't get a job that pays us enough. I'm about to pop up. Andrew, a massive thank you for sharing the incredible story behind your ground up, rebuilt 1971 Holden HQ two-door with us. Your passion for custom performance cars is truly inspiring and we're grateful for the opportunity to showcase your masterpiece on the channel. The blend of classic aesthetics with modern power is nothing short of extraordinary and we're sure our viewers will be thrilled by the journey you've taken us on. Your enthusiasm and dedication to the automotive world shines through and we can't wait to see what the road holds for you and your stunning Holden HQ. Thanks again, Andrew. Well done, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That concludes our exploration of power and precision with Andrew's 1971 Holden HQ. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow enthusiasts. Until next time, stay tuned for more stories of custom craftsmanship and high-octane rides.